Welcome to Good Neighbors. It's another time for us to come together and learn and find out about what is going on in our community. And on today, we're going to um, have a little youthful session. I'll, I'll call it that because we're going to talk about Upward Bound. Now, for some individuals, it may uh, be something that you're familiar with. With others, it's going to be new and you're going to find out how you can also participate in the lives of our youth. And we have on our program today the director of Upward Bound and her name is Dana Wood. Thank you, Madam, for coming on to Thank Good Neighbors. Thank you very much for having us. We appreciate it. You're welcome. And also, we have Mr. Mitchell. That's not. Yes, <laughs> yes ma'am. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's very, uh, he's very proper, and he's going to tell about his um, experience and his adventure coming here to Wichita Falls. But first, we want to speak to you concerning Upward Bound. Individuals may not know what it is. They know, they may know about the uh, sports programs that they have, the various churches and other organizations that, yeah, that's, have. That's a different. Okay, yes, that's so that's tell that's us that. about your program. Upward Bound is a program for college-bound high school students. It's a federally funded program, and we serve 58 students from the Wichita Falls area and the community of Burt Burnett. Uh, we serve Burt Burnett High School, City View High School, Hershey, Wichita Falls, and uh, Ryder High Schools. And we take kids from all the high schools. We try to take them when they're freshmen and keep them until after they graduate. And the object is to prepare them, to allow them to have a little bit of the college experience and to prepare them for going to college wherever they choose to go to college. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when you said take them, um, how, how, in what aspect do you mean take There's an them? application process. Okay. Uh, the application is on our website. And we, you can also pick up an application at the counselor's office. And with the application, there are letters of recommendation, and there is an income requirement, and neither parent can have a four-year college degree in order to be admitted to the program. So all that information is in the application. We also require a copy of the latest 1040, 1040A, whatever mm -hmm. taxes the parents filed, in order to uh, document the income level. The income level is based on taxable income, so someone could have a fairly high income and have, you know, three or four kids, and their kids would still be eligible. It's not like free or reduced lunch or something like mm -hmm. that. It's 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 a different thing. Okay, so. and, and I know she's saying so many things and throwing it out there, but you'll turn tune back into the program or give her a call or go by the office. And speaking of the office, you are housed at Midwestern State University, okay. and, and, and we're in the McGahey Building. Okay, now. And I know you are um, associated, or, or you're getting the children to go to the children. Please forgive me, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the uh, young individuals yes. to go to college. Yes. Is there a certain reason that you're housed at MSU? Uh, we're part of a federal grant program called the Trio programs, and there's many of us, like around a thousand upward bounds throughout the United States. Most of them are housed at a university of some sort whether it's a two-year college or a four-year college. Some of them are community-based, but really the college model is what most people go with mm -hmm. because part of the Upward Bound experience is staying on the campus during the summer okay. and staying in the dormitories and attending classes provided by Upward Bound and just kind of getting the feel of going to college. So that's why most of the programs are housed on college on campuses. College campuses. And even the programs that are community based programs usually have some college affiliation so the kids can still have that experience, mm -hmm. have the opportunity to have that experience. Well, it's great to be in that in the, on the scene with things that yes. are happening. So now we're gonna shift over to you, sir. And you know, he may, he has that baby face. He looks <laughs> like, oh, he's just, you know, right out of junior. But I, I want you to first tell us what you're getting ready to do, as well as how did you come to Wichita Falls? Okay, um, well, in the fall, I'll be going to Texas Tech University. Congratulations! Um, I just took a semester at Midwestern um, through Upward Bound's program. Um, at the end of the four years with Upward Bound, they paid for me to go to a semester, a summer semester of college here at Midwestern. Great. Um, I'm from New Orleans originally. I came to Wichita Falls through Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. um, and ever since I've been here, um, Upward Bound has really helped me uh, to, you know, they work on our skills throughout high school, but they really prepare us for college. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like I'm going into college a step ahead of everybody else. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in, in spite of Katrina, if, if Katrina would have never happened 
and this opportunity came to you, knowing what you know now, would you have still participated in Upward Bound? Um, I'm not even sure if there was an Upward mm -hmm. Bound uh, in New Orleans, but I know um, I couldn't have asked for a better program to get into other than the Midwestern State University's Upward Bound program. Mm -hmm. And it's really helped me out a lot. Okay, I'm, and I'm gonna give you time to think and, and process what you want to say because I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you what difference has it made in your life, as well as um, we're gonna ask you later on to to speak to the young people and to encourage them as well as the parents. Let mm -hmm. the let them know from your perspective as a young individual how this can help their child. But we want to get back to Miss Dana concerning the uh, the program. Now, okay. how many do you have on staff? We have a lot more in the summer. During the school year, we generally have four regular people on staff mm -hmm. and then probably between three and four tutors as well. And during the summer, we have peer counselors and teachers mm -hmm. and drivers and the four main staff. So we probably have as many in between 16 and 20 maybe on staff during so the summer. In essence, you're kind of running your own your own campus on a campus. Yeah, we're running a summer camp, basically. Mm -hmm. It's what we're running for now, a six-week program. Then there's a field trip at the end of it. Mm -hmm. But they, yeah, they come on Monday mornings and they go home on Friday mm -hmm. evenings. And it's, we have activities during the evening, classes during the day. Well, while you're talking about activities, I'm, I'm going to be honest. When I was at MSU and I would see the individuals, and, and uh, she was always, why don't you come and be with Upper Bound? And no, 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 no. I was like, ooh, I see them kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> but you know what? They need, they need a strong hand in their life. You know, I'm not talking about spanking and whipping them. But you know what? Spare the rod, spoil the child. That's a whole nother show. But um, if, if you're... If, feel like, you know what, I might need to get involved. And we have these young men and young women that need some guidance. And the, the of course, the volunteers, they need assistance. So, uh, please give her a call or speak to someone in her office. But I, I must confess, I only was thinking that you had the um, the summer program. No, I, it's I kept year forgetting round. about the, the uh, yearly program, per se. Yes. So when someone... Um, goes on with, on the line and pulls down the forms or either mm -hmm. they come to you and say, hey, I want to get involved. And they go to uh, pick up the forms mm -hmm. and they fill them out and, you know, let's get this all done. After that, what is the uh, process? The, pro the forms come into us. The application comes into us and we evaluate it, of course, based on the income level, the parents' uh, mm -hmm. education level. The kids come in and they take a test that is just like a baseline test of how they're doing when they come into a program mm -hmm. that will be measured later in the program. It's not like how they do on this test that they take before the program. It does not count on whether they get in the program or not. Does okay. that make sense? It's yeah. just a measurement. To see tool. where they are and exactly. what type, of, what type yes. of individuals you have. So yes. you can know, and okay, so the, do this the and test, that. a lot of kids go, test. Well, I don't want, you know, they think it's like a tax test or something mm -hmm. where if they don't pass, they won't get in. And that's not it at all. It's just simply for us to measure how they're doing in the mm -hmm. program. So they take this test before they come into the program. And then we like to get them in during the school year so that they can kind of get acclimated to different things going on. Sometimes we bring them in at the beginning of the summer, but it's easier if they've been in, you know, in the fall and then the spring or even just in the spring where they, they kind of know. Have a, and they, they kind of have a, um, a schedule going as far as in school. Yes. So, you know, don't we have, come here crazy. We have meetings. It's going to be totally different. We have meetings on Saturday mornings and we also have tutorings in the evenings on Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to ask you what... What is on the test? I know you can't give specifics. But, oh, you know, it's just a standardized test. It's the California Achievement Test. Okay. We test them over uh, reading and writing and mathematics skills. That's all. Okay. Just the basic, um, you know, what they're tested on in school as far as, you know, their ability and things like that. Okay. Well, being that we're from, I'm just going to ask this. Why we don't have a big text test, a Texas test? Why are we using uh, California? There's different tests, but the testing companies are, I don't know that there's a testing company in Texas. Okay. We could use the plan by the ACT, mm -hmm. but a lot of uh, schools use that. Okay. okay. So uh, 
And do you feel that this better this better helps you assess their their style of testing helps you better assess the, the We've just you? been using this test for a long time. I'm not uh, trying to change it. Oh, I was just no, asking no, us that's in California. Fine. We in Texas. No, we are, but the the testing companies are limited. There's yes, a limited amount of testing companies that prepare assessments like okay. this. Okay. So that's why we use, and I think ACT is based in Nebraska, and I'm not sure mm -hmm. where the college board offers anything or not. But yes, the testing, the tests, of course, are prepared by these people, and they're very a certain way or whatever. Mm -hmm. But but we don't use the tax test or anything like that. I mean, that is something we look at is their tax scores, especially if they're having trouble, okay. and try to provide them with yeah. some extra help and stuff in those areas. So that's why it's good for them to get in, if yes, at all possible, exactly. during the school year. How, how did, did you get in during the school year or during the summer? Well, um, my freshman year, I found out about, well, I found out about it during the year, mm -hmm. but I kind of got in towards the end of the year okay. um, when we were about to get out for the summer. But I came in um, starting to n know everybody, so that's another big thing you can get from coming in during the year. You like start to build relationships. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I came in um, probably late April, mm -hmm. um, and you know the program starts um, at the end of May, started. June mm -hmm. for the for the summer session mm -hmm. of it. Now I'm not going to ask you. Now she's not sitting here per se. <laughs> what 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 did you see the difference between the summer besides the trips and things versus the school year? Did you think the school year really helped you in in your school work and help you get a better understanding of some things? Well, um, I think. Sometimes um, that's based on like the individuals mm -hmm. because a lot of individuals go into the program with um, needing a lot of help. Mm -hmm. I've needed help, but um, throughout the year, um, there's a lot of children that need tutoring mm -hmm. and you know other things like that, and they need a lot more than other kids. So they'll mm -hmm. come during um, the Mondays, Tuesdays, mm -hmm. and Thursdays, and then they'll come on Saturdays and. Um, we do pro we do um work on Saturdays mm -hmm. to you know help us grade wise like if I'm in the 11th grade mm -hmm. you know I'm trying to get prepared for my tax test whether mm -hmm. I'm going to graduate or not yeah definitely so if people have trouble with that um they can come in you know tell us tell um upward bound what they're having trouble with and you know and somebody. they'll go ahead and somebody will be there to help and mm -hmm. assist. Well, we're going to get ready to take a break, but uh, we're going to come back and talk more about their schedule and okay. what they do concerning the, the program. And, of course, right. if you have, I keep saying this, if you have any questions you want to know about the program, give them a call. You have her here, you have him here, and you know what, he's getting ready to go to college, so someone else is going to be in his seat, and we are thankful that they're going to continue to go on in their educational goals as well. Stay tuned for more Good Neighbors right after this.